Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. Um, I'm a little upset right now because I tried to scare my wife. I tried to sneak up on my wife and scare her with a new Halloween mask that I just purchased. I took my daughter to go purchase a Halloween mask. I mean, Halloween um, costume, just so she can celebrate with her friends at school. And um, I decided to get myself a mask. And when I put it on, at first, she was a little, ah, you know, she was a little shocked, but she wasn't scared. But then she started cutting me up, man. She said that the mask looked just like me. She said that I'm uglier than the mask. She said that how you going to go buy something that looked just like you with no skin? Here's the dang on thing. Y'all let me know what she... See, this right here is just mean, man. She said that this mask looked just like me, and, and I, don't, I don't like it. I don't love it at all. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I'm... Uh, I don't I don't know what to say, man. I just think that that's evil. And 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 if I if I decide to leave her today, I'm justified. That's how I look at it. All right. All right. So, yeah. So we about to check out some Judge Joe Brown, um, who's answering some real questions. And I'm not going to even take too long to get into it now because I didn't told y'all my dad on whole story. So hopefully you feel sorry for me. and You say some nice things in the comment section. All right. And don't don't attack my wife for being mean to me. That's just something that we do. It's like little, play, little, little love taps. You know what I mean? It's full play. I call. I call it full play. What What is your take on Trump? Is Trump a racist? I don't think so. Wow, bro, my man asked the question right off the top. Who's Who is this man? Who's this? Mucktails. Shout out to Mucktails. Seventy two thousand views on this journey, and only. 300 um subs y'all need to go sub that man's channel man he's providing some good content that's that's good all right let go i have talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who back in the late 80s and 90s were early 90s were trying to get financing they could somebody told them to go check with donald trump so they come back and tell me they got a loan from donald trump wow how come that hasn't been going around? I want to hear the stories of the guys who actually got those loans because that is huge. I would like to pass that around like a blunt to all those people who feel like Trump is a racist. He's a racist. You know what? And I, and I will put this on your mind too. Let me put this on your mind. Let me put this on your heart right here. Who cares? Who cares? Huh? Who cares? Because most people who here's the here's the funny thing. Most people who accuse other people of being racist are racist to damn selves, and all they want is something to to shock their audience and bring views to their platforms. That's it. Or if it's not about a platform, if it's just a conversation with someone. They will be throwing those type of things out there as if it freaking matters, knowing good and well that, oh, I'm talking to somebody that has said a whole lot of racist stuff, but guess what? I'm just going to go ahead and oblige with this conversation. Let's go. You gave him a term loan. Show up with the interest in the principal, one check, but they had to go see him personally. Wow. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? And yeah. And then tore the check up, shook the hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. Wow. Back in the 90s. See, most people don't even know this. He had a sister. He was, every time you saw him back in the 90s, fine paper bag, brown, beautiful black model. He likes fine women. He didn't have any problem with dating a black woman, walking her down red carpets. So, I mean, she says he's not a racist. He just doesn't like many people, black or white. And he appreciates people who do stuff within their lane. Uh, well, not stay in their lane, but where they choose to be, if they do it well, he admires them. Black, white, brown, red, yellow. Man, sh listen, listen. That's two for two right there. That, that, there's two things that I'm, you know, I got in common with the guy. That's that's two and that's two things I got in common. I also love beautiful women. Not like that, babe. Listen, if my wife looks at this, listen, 
I'm talking about just to look at from afar, like on Instagram or something like that. I won't even like their pictures or their videos, all right? All right? I'm just talking about looking. Oh, she's beautiful. I like to look at that beautiful. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Also, I don't like too many people. Black, white, red, yellow, or other. I, I don't. You know what I mean? Because people are mean-spirited. And when I see people in my comment section being nice, it actually surprises me. It really does. Because most people that I've, I can't say most people. I just don't like when people are just mean-spirited and don't have anything nice to say. I just don't. Don't have, don't mean anybody well. Are strictly for themselves. And that's it. They'll throw you under the bus, step up over you push you off of a daggone bridge to get what you got. You know what I mean? It's, it's people out there that's just raggedy, man. Most people don't know this. He did was the finance man behind Jesse Jackson's two runs for president. Get out of here. Wow. Get out of so, here. So, you know, he talks, but I don't mind somebody talking. I think we've gotten too sensitive to that. That's part of the effeminization of the country. I remember in junior high and high school, Hey, man, I won't say nothing, man, but last night when I saw your mama, man, you don't know I was over there because you were asleep, man, but <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We ran the dozens. That was our sport. That was a sport. Thank you, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. Somebody go, somebody go shake this man's hand, man. Somebody, listen, Judge Joe Brown, I'm going to shake your hand, bro. Matter of fact, fist bump. Mm, yeah, right there, right there. This bump, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Yeah, man. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. When men were men, when men were men, wasn't all sensitive. Okay, women, I ain't leave y'all out that either. When women were women, <laughs> can't leave the ladies out. <laughs> so we were used to talking about each other. Now, man, he talked about my mama, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, sensitive. Do, do you Some think uh, Trump will get reelected? I think he's going to get reelected. Uh, this impeachment mess we've got right now. There's a thing called the U.S. Constitution, and the Constitution says the president is the chief diplomatic officer of the United States. It puts no limits on his discretion. It simply says that if he comes up with any treaties, they have to be ratified by the Senate. If a treaty is ratified by the Senate, it becomes part of the supreme law of the land. The president and other elected and appointed officials are under oath required to follow the law of the land. The State Department, Secretary of State are part of his cabinet and are essentially advisors to the president. He's wow. the boss. So what he does relative to Biden is simply what is allowed and mandated by the Constitution, specifically Article 1, Section 8, that says the president is charged with, quote, enforcing the law of nations. Man, y'all better stop playing with Judge Joe Brown. This dude, y'all keep you he's a judge. He knows this stuff. <laughs> this is what he does. This is what he went to school for for a long, 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 long time. Wow. Bro, look, give, give him the business. He is schooling people right now, man. I am mad that I waited so long to check this video out because I've seen everybody checking it out. And I was like, I don't like checking out videos that everybody checking out. I like to be the one that's finding the first video to check out. <laughs> I, I really don't like following people. I don't. I don't. And if this was not put on my plate again by somebody who works with me, I wouldn't have checked it out. But guess what? Me being foolish almost blocked my blessings because this guy is running it down. Hopefully you're listening with an objective ear. Okay? Hopefully you're understanding that what you thought before well, along with these facts could possibly be changed a bit. Hopefully you, I'm just saying, be objective, guys. All right? Now, if you're already agreeing, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who are judging. Man, look at this coon. Look at this. Y'all know the names, man. Everybody, everybody know the names at this point. Y'all know the names. That's what they do, man. 
We have an Interpol treaty with various European states and also one specifically with the Ukraine that requires that we basically investigate, apprehend, prosecute, extradite criminal elements and criminality. Mm -hmm. So Biden out of his own mouth, and I've heard this tape twice, uh, January this year, he says, well, 19, 2019, he says, I guess I broke some laws, <laughs> extortion. I told the Ura uh, Ukrainians if they didn't get rid of this uh, the prosecutor prosecutor's name yeah, is Skola, the Skola, the I think. Corruption prosecutor yeah, he Ukraine said, if you don't get rid of him, we'd withhold $85 billion in loan guarantees. So his oh. son, who had just been discharged for the military for being a junkie, uh, had a drug problem. Wow. Had no history in business. He affiliates with this. And at the time, Biden was in charge of the U.S.'s Ukrainian posture and relations. Uh, Obama had assigned him that. And by implication, he brought Obama into committing a crime in office which is a felony, it's extortion. He committed wow. one extortion by out of his own mouth. Wow. Uh, threatening to withhold 85, million and, 85 billion in loan guarantees if they didn't get rid of this prosecutor who was zeroing in on that corporation that his son had just been hired to represent after Biden Sr. Ukrainian diplomacy. So, Son gets $18.5 million out of it, and he has no background other than a dishonorable discharge from the armed services for drug abuse. Wow. Wow. Judge Joe Brown is telling it. He's telling it all. He's telling it all. What's what's that called when you? It's like when when I offer something for you to do something, and is is that quid pro quo? Is that what that is? I don't know. I'm not. I listen. I'm just listening to the judge the same way that you guys are, and the way he's breaking it down is stuff that I didn't even know of before. After this reaction, I'm going to make sure that I send this after it's edited and stuff. I'm going to send this to my wife. I'm going to send this to other people just so they can see it themselves. I, I want people to see this information, man, because this is important. It's important also that you guys share these reactions only because the gentleman whose whose channel is this? Um, this is Mucktails. Mucktails has 372 subscribers, right? His reach is not the same as LFR Family, um, Doc Rich, um, Kingdom Reacts. You know what I mean? It's when 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 you see reaction channels do these videos, it's 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 important that you share some of these. Why? Because the algorithm is already um friendly to certain um content creators and it will reach a little further. And the people who are supposed to see this will see this more and more and more and more. Because with the information that he's giving out, why is it that this was posted in December 28th, 2019? Why is it that this only has 72,000 views, especially with the gentleman being in being the president right now? We got to think about these type of things like. You know what? I'm not here to start any trouble. I don't want to start any trouble. What I want to do is give people the same information that I'm getting so that they can have a better understanding than they have. That's it. And when they take that information, do with it as you please. Treat it like fish. Eat the meat. Spit out the bones. I'm not asking you to think any type of way. I'm not ever asking you to vote any type of way, move any type of way, groove any type of way. I'm not asking any of that. I just want people to have the information. So that's why it's imperative that these reaction channels, people wonder, 
Why in the world do you even have I, I was on um, 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 Reddit. I was on Reddit. And they was going off. Like, people was pissed off. Why is it that people have reaction channels and doing videos of other people's uh, content and they're not even doing the work, but their channels are growing and we, the real creators, aren't able to catch a break? Well, guess what? Here's the thing. Knowledge is everything. Knowledge is power. No, applied knowledge is power. And when you have someone who's checking out some information for the first time and presenting that information to their audience and then their audience presenting it to someone else and then to someone else, they're disseminating information that needs to get from A to B to C all the way to Z, okay? And a reaction channel helps do that. By simply being bold enough to step into a field that they wouldn't have ordinarily, and they're presenting that information to their original followers. And then it goes on and on and on. Also, the original creator of this information, the original creator, Mucktails, who only have 300 something subscribers, if it weren't, for reaction channels checking out his video and presenting it to their subscribers he might not have this many views on this video or they might not check out his channel at all because people haven't visited him enough for the algorithm to be friendly to him if that makes any sense so it helps everyone it's like an internet ecosystem of real information that needs to get out because right now all that people are sharing back and forth is TikTok dances, people doing heinous daggone crimes online. That's in the people twerking, people doing things that's not going to be beneficial to any of us, nor our children, nor our friends, nor our relatives, nor our co workers, anyone. And come voting season, this come voting time, this information will help people come up with some type of rationale that will help them make that decision. That means more than they actually believe it means. I think I've spoken enough. Okay, so let me go ahead and jump back into the rest of this. But one last question. Do you think black people are missing an opportunity with Trump? Yo, yeah. See, you've got somebody that is not a lifetime Republican. He's been a blue dog Democrat for most of his life. He usurped the Republican Party. So I think this thing I've been tweeting about, no benefit, no vote, ought to be the deal. We haven't gotten a damn thing out of the Democratic Party for a long time. Hmm. And the last one, number 44 and the one before that, 43, <clears throat> Bush and Obama, well, there are pictures of Bush with his arm around uh, eight-year-old Barack Obama because his stepdaddy, adopted daddy, Lolo Sotoro, had done a lifetime worth of business with Oh, my God! Yo! This was planned from the beginning! I knew it. 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 You can't just you can't just stumble into a dang going. You you don't just stumble into a position like that, especially if you're black. Ain't nowhere in the world. Now I gotta look up Lolo C O Toro. My what? What? Get out of here, man. That's, is that why Bush always giving Michelle Obama candy when he's here? Every single time he see Michelle Obama, he give her a piece of candy. Nah, bro, this is crazy. This is, this, this. No, nope, nope, nope. No, calm down, man. Relax, bro. It's not that serious. It is that serious. It's that daggone serious, man. If it, it, after whom George Herbert Walker Bush, Bush won president, was named, founded Halliburton in 1946 in Oklahoma. And Lolo Sotoro had been international executive vice president for Standard Oil. There, there was talk of him being a CIA asset. Uh, well, yeah, Indonesia. see, he ran mm -hmm. the death squads for the Indonesian Get army. On his own call, anyone could be assassinated. So when George 
Herbert Walker Bush became head of the CIA under the Ford administration. He just got with his old buddy in the oil business, Lolo Sotoro, and pulled off the hits. See, wow. uh, Barack's grandmother has been acknowledged as being the woman that operated the channels through which CIA money went to the Southwest Pacific. So she to Lolo Sotoro, and they got married, and Lolo Sotoro adopted Barack Obama. The name was changed to Barry Sotoro. Mm -hmm. Now, when he went to high school in Get Hawaii, I know about that high school. I almost sent my oldest son to it. I could afford it, but I didn't think he observed, deserved it. 20 years ago, the tuition was $95,000 a year, not Ooh. including room and board. When Obama went there, I've talked to two of his classmates. They independently state that the tuition, not including room and board, was 45000 Now, Business Insider reports his income for 2017 at over $200 million net. That's after taxes, deductions, write-offs. Mm -hmm. For this last year, 2018, they reported it as... 570 plus million dollars. Even some of the richest Whoa. people in America don't make that. Why? Whoa. Because when his stepdaddy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. 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 My mind is freaking blown right now. When you see this. <laughs> When you see the chips stacked the way that they do. Wow. I don't even know what the dad going to say, man. Hopefully, you can look through me and hear what I'm trying to tell you right now. It's like the movie Get Out. I'm trying to say something to you. I don't know how to say what I want to say especially without getting canceled and receiving guideline and restrictions and all that other stuff. Because if you say certain things, you can take it out of here. And I can't afford that, man. Wow. This is this, this information right here, this information right here. Wow. One of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. And he left everything in a trust fund operated out of Indonesia. Oh. So the American government can't touch it. It makes Barack Obama one third beneficiary for the assets of one of the 10, 15 richest men on earth. Wow. See, so we got a game run on us. So, you know, that little thing that Bush W does when he gets with Michelle, they and giggle and candy. he gives a candy. The inside thing is that supposed to be the same kind of candy he used to give to her husband when he was six, seven, eight years old. Oh, wow. Bruh, guys, wow, I feel so, I feel fooled, man, that's what it is, I feel fooled right now, I feel fooled, wow, mm -mm. I feel fooled right now, man, that's what it is, I was trying to think, what's the feeling? What's what's going on in your head right now, man? That's what it is. I feel fooled right now. I need to look into this right here. This is, this is, wow. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Please let me know whatever you want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, man. Love y'all. Thank you for rock with me per usual. Wow!